Packers have gone four times in the course of five the third. It's hard to play. And it's hard to play at Dan Mason. It's a real difficult game for him offensively. It's tough. And it's Turner off the drive. And let's take a look now. Jared Sullinger's number. The last 10 games for him have been very nice. At 11th and field goal percentage. And he's just been so consistent from the foul line. Ranking in the top 15 in free throw percentage. You know, talking again about his field goal percentage, Steve, I mean, that's really been a strong suit for him. An area of strength in his game. And he's basically been efficiently and reliably scored. They set the screen. He passes it to Thunder. And that's out of bounds. Boston Rollins in possession. Set out the Eastern Conference standings. Now that we're in the new year. Taking a look at Boston. Obviously, the number seven of you guys. First up there in first place and playing terrific basketball. Game in, game out. And of course, the Cleveland Cavaliers. I was so complex. But right now for the Celtics, they continue their outstanding play. They're definitely one of those teams that everybody has in their sights again this year. Well, you know, this is a team that doesn't have to be very weak as he's strong uh, across the board on that roster. And uh, I think as long as they stay solid, they stay healthy, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they made a strong push in the play. <laughs> And that one is that guy. I thought he'd make out. That's his range and defense nowhere to be seen. But here's Kent. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws from the contact right there. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Boston Celtics. They host the 76ers after this one. And we'll all be looking out for the final score in that heat game. Should be close. Lakers took their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Los Angeles making a switch here. And the second free throw, good. Now oh, here's Lucas. He's set the pick. By William. LA's got the three point bug tonight. They're taking 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. It's up a three. On three, gets the rebound. Oh, that's a surprising miss right there. He used the peaceful, no wide open opportunity. Look this pitch to Brooks. He's against Williams. Up in the way. Oh, good off the floor. Well, I think he had an alligator arm that was short stroke. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. That's fine to shoot. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. For the three. And they force the shot clock violation for three teams. Here's a look at the schedule for the Los Angeles Lakers. Next up will be a home game matched up against the Pacers. That will be the first of two straight at home. On offense here on the Celtics. They're on a 17 to 6 run. Here's Lucas. This is a practice. This job taking a tight to the team for the layup. How long is going for their seven from three point range here in quarter number three? <laughs> 106 left to play in the third. Can't the best to watch. Shot clock at six. Here's Parks. And he uses the glass on the lane. Ten points for him. 
Boy, has he picked it up in the second half. He's on fire. Back to Brooks. Brooks writes up. Pass to Humphreys. The dish to Lucas. Here's Thunder. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Tries to save it. Out of line, Celtics ball is lost in deep possession. No choice but to lunge for that pass to stop it from getting through. That was a good job. It could have been a quick bucket if he doesn't knock it out of bounds there. Not close. Six second difference between shot and game one. It's gone away. It's good to be through contact on the shot, so we will go to the line. A three point play chance here. He's made one and this one so far in the game. You know, in their last game, guys, he was dialed in at the line. Yeah, no question. He may have been the strongest part of his game that night. You know, guys, that's not quite the same success rate he had at the line last year, um, although it is somewhat in the neighborhood of last year's number. There's the pick. This one for three. He got it up in time and a little call for it. But three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. Celtics out in front, running away with it. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. I just want to be the one you love to wake you down. And we're going here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down the water, but you never know. Wants into us, guys. Uh, shooting 39% of the floor. After that, the score front court of Jared Sarger and Kelly Owen. Ajahn Rondo is out there with one, and it's Turner in the three slot. She's in the game for the Celtics. And for no good. Good sets, good offensive sets are built on a solid screen, and that was an example of how you don't want to set a pitch. Shots beat on Thunder. He's their go to guy. When he shoots the ball like he has today, that's what the scoreboard usually looks like. Here are the Lakers. Allison, the pass to Barks. Allison. All the way up top. Back to Dallas. Shot clock at five. Shot with some nice D. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup for them. On your offer, big from a win. Pass to the button. Back to Rodney. Celtics passing it around. Thunder. It's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. And it's now 26 points for Thunder. Clark, they've been looking at a sink offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Allison dishes to Hardaway. He kicks it to Landry. Rejected by Olin. Austin's gone, 7 of 11 for me tonight, using the free pointer to their advantage. The shot's good for the Thunder's got seven points here in this quarter. And to get a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for the Celtics. Their defense has been outstanding, Kevin. Closing out on shots, blocking a lot of them as well. The number of second chance points they've gotten is also impressive. I mean, they've kept so many possessions alive with offensive rebounds. I'll call that time on the way up. That'll give them two chances at the free throw line here. 